Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are all well. And what are we going to do today? So in today's experiment, I will try to paint a pineapple using pouring acrylics by Arteza. I don't want to paint a regular pineapple. I think I'm going to paint some crazy, psychedelic, colorful pineapple with all these colors. They are pre-mixed, so I don't have to mix anything. They're just ready for pouring. Some of them are neon, some of them are just regular colors. Uh, I've got 12 by 12 canvas by Arteza as well. Just received a box. Well, those of you who know me a bit, especially from Instagram, you know that I love experimenting and I like trying different things, new things. So again, this is something that I haven't tried before at all. So hopefully it won't fail. Let's see. Uh, instead of brushes, I'm going to use these chains. I've got quite a few. Because I want my pineapple to be really colorful, I'm going just to keep the background plain white. Spreading my paint. With the chain paintings, you don't want a lot of paint because the more paint you have, the more paint you'll be dragging later on with those chains. So to be honest, it's good just to have a thin layer. On the other hand, it can be so thin that it will get dry while you are still working. So just to balance. And when you work with chains, you should have a container with water because uh, you can drop the dirty chain straight away and all those little balls will not be clogged. I'm going to just use the end of my brush to scrape a shape. Okay, I think that's my shape. Uh, I think I'm going to actually use some color and very, very gently sketch the edges so I know where I want my chain to go. Very faint, but so that I can see how big I want it. So now I'm starting to layer my paint. Uh, I think I'll start with red. Orange. This is a really bright orange. Tafiera. I've got some left over in some of my little cups. I picked lots of colors, but I may not use all of them. I'll see what will look best. I'll just try these first. That's probably enough. So I'm dipping my chain in. I'm totally improvising. See what happens. I just hope it's going to be good. So. I'm just going to do section by section. Oh, quite crazy. I think I prefer them to be slightly different. Each one might be different. Not so perfect. Some of them will be overlapping, and that's absolutely fine. We need more orange, and more yellow. Yellow turned into green. I'm just wondering if I need a bit more yellow, probably. My pineapple is getting a bit too dark, perhaps. Let's just see if I can go over the same ones with yellow. My hands are going to be so filthy. Oh, I like these like little shells. Losing yellow somehow. The turquoise is mixing. I'm giving me the light green shade. Well, so far it's fun. I'm just hoping it's going to look good.
Now I really want some darker blue, a uh, darker green. I've got quite a lot of light green. I'm almost done. I probably need one layer or a really small. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm kind of really focused. Just want to finish the bottom with a bit of a darker color. I don't want to mess it up. No, I'm really struggling here with this one. the leaves. I think I'm going to do the leaves slightly differently. I will go for the lighter and just those two greens, maybe one more. So I'm just going to draw them and start with the bigger ones. And then I'll add some smaller leaves here. Or maybe I should have added one, one there. Okay, let's try. Start with this one. I think I messed up a bit. Maybe I'll go on with the same one because I think it's much too tall. Use a pipette and just get rid of the excess. I'm going to redo this one because I'm not too fond of it. Not too fond of this one. So you see, if your background was loaded with white, now I'll be dragging really, really tons of paint. I like this different one, so I'm adding a bit of tiny bit of different color and using the same chain from the other side. Oh, my fingers, I don't think I'll be able to wash them properly today. I'm not happy with the big, big leaves, so I'll try something else, see if that will work or not. I mean, I never leave a painting if I'm not happy with it. I don't know about you, but I just keep redoing it and redoing it. And if I'm still not happy, I'll just get rid of it. I quite like it, actually. I'll leave it. Now I just need some smaller ones here, and then I'll be done. Sometimes, as I said, because I've never tried a pineapple before, I'm absolutely experimenting and seeing what works for me, what doesn't. To finish it off, I'm going to add just a little one here, but it's going to be lighter, because I think the front should be always lighter. I might just drag just the end of the chain now to make a pointy tip. Okay, I think it does look like a smaller leaf. Just a few finishing touches where I had some white spots. Probably needed a bit more, just turquoise. 
in here. The pineapple is almost ready, but I think it should have some little spikes. It's too smooth. So I think I should just... I think it's finished, so I'll take you for a close-up so you can see all the sections. Well, I'm really curious what you think. The colours are pretty crazy. Quite. I think the leaves were pretty well. Well, I think that's the end of my pineapple experiment. The good news is that actually my planning worked, so those little sections kind of look pineapple-y. What do you think? And the leaves are right. Um, Maybe next time I will use different colours. I did say this one was supposed to be sort of a crazy pineapple. And I wasn't sure whether it will actually look any good or not. Please tell me what you think in the comment. Press like if you enjoyed the video. And see you soon again. Bye bye.